Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your Monster bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're going to be covering if Black Ops 3 is going to bring supply drops and advanced supply drops to their game. Now, Advanced Warfare, they had it at the very start of the game and they announced it before the game came out. Uh, it was just a huge part of Advanced Warfare and a lot of people loved it, man. I mean, a lot of people loved it. And a lot of people did not like it because it changed the viewership on YouTube. People didn't really like watching gameplays of Call of Duty anymore. They really wanted to tune into the supply jobs more than the gameplays. And I agree. I mean, the supply job videos did do a lot better than the normal gameplays and that that did suck, but I honestly enjoyed supply jobs. The only reason I didn't like supply jobs is because of weapon variants. Now you can have the obsidian steed and you can outgun anybody with a bow. So just having the weapon advantage because you paid money really sucks. And in Black Ops 3, I don't think they have variant weapons like that. So in my opinion, if they bring supply jobs to Black Ops 3 and just have the gear sets for your character, that'll be awesome, man. I'll actually really enjoy that. Um, uh, what happened on Twitter the other day was some guy named Rob S. Stang tweeted out David Von Hart saying, It's a shame there's player customization in campaign, but not in multiplayer. We all look like clones. And I agree because I'm, I remember when we were playing the beta, um, everyone looked the fucking same. I mean, everybody had the same outfit and it was just, it, it didn't look good at all. Uh, but David Von Hart tweeted him back saying, You should uh, perpetuate, uh, perpetuate, uh, perpetuate the myth that there is no c character customization in multiplayer and just ignore everything I've said about it because he's uh, he's mentioned it in the past that there's going to be player customization so that guy just pretty much did not have his information he tweeted that to him pretty much cluelessly um, and then he also tweeted this out pretty much showing the blackout gear now you have a head you have a variant for the head you have the body of the variant for the body and then you have your gun um, so there is player customization now it's gonna be I think for it depends on which specialist character you pick there's gonna be certain uh, outfits you can have for that character so that's that's actually really cool and if they bring supply jobs and they allow you to like buy supply jobs now I, lot, I know a lot of people are still going to be like that's annoying that you still have to buy it if, if they do it another way where you can earn it actually a lot easier instead of just having to buy it and make it extremely rare to get a normal advanced supply job I think that'll be really cool but it's, it's really up to David Von Hart on how he wants to act about it I mean Advanced Warfare, they made m so much money off of Advanced Supply Jobs, man. I mean, they probably made millions, and a lot of Call of Duty creators saw that, and they're probably going to try and use that to make extra money. I mean, this is all about business to them. It's it's all about having fun, but it's also about business. They want to make as much money as they can, and um, I think that if they do bring it back, they will make a lot of money. But as you can tell, at the bottom of this image, it says Taunts and Jesters. Now, this is fucking awesome, man. I think if you're able to taunt whenever you want, that'll be pretty cool, like a fist bump, or if you just dance, like, you know, in Destiny, if you could just randomly dance, that'll be pretty cool, man, to bring that into Advanced Warfare. I know it's 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 definitely strange. It's not normal in a Call of Duty game, but it would just be cool to do it whenever you want. Like, if you get a kill, instead of just punching in the air, you can go ahead and do a jester, like, dance or something like that. Or dance on somebody's body instead of teabagging them. It'll just bring a lot more excitement. It'll make the game funner if you want to watch people troll and stuff like that. It'll be hilarious, man. I really like that idea. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys actually think these videos that are these ideas I said in this video are good, give this video a thumbs up, man. That'll mean a lot to me. It helps the channel grow. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.